my name is Yijin and I will be talking about one of the ecosystems here in the Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands are a sprawling chain of volcanic islands and coral atolls in the central Pacific Ocean between Hawaii and the Philippines. The Marshall Islands consist of 29 atolls and 5 individual islands. It is an island that is surrounded by a vast ecosystem of water. The RMI is blooming in a variety of ecosystems on its ground and its waters. And for today's video, we will be focusing on seagrasses. Seagrasses are submerged flowering plants found in marine shallow waters such as bays and lagoons. Seagrasses are found in salty and brackish waters in many parts of the world. Seagrasses are so named because most species have long green grass-like leaves. They are often confused with seaweeds, but are actually more closely, closely related to the flowering plants that you see on land. They have roots, stems, and leaves, and produce flowers and seeds. Seagrass is one of the most important ecosystems on the planet. However, due to human activities, seagrasses are declining fast, and this is a serious complication to both humans and the animal population. How can we save the seagrass ecosystem here in the Marshall Islands? With this question brings us to the purpose of this video. The Marshall Islands is rich with seagrasses and that is all because it is located in the tropical region. And based on experience, I am well aware that not all the population here in the RMI know the significance of seagrasses. The only people who know one significant of seagrasses are the farmers. They have been informed that seagrasses are a good source of compost. But other than that, nothing more. This is why the main purpose of this video is to give the main reason why seagrasses are essential. Therefore, in this video, I will be talking about the importance of seagrasses plus the services that it provides, and lastly, why it should be preserved. I believe that every ecosystem has a purpose of existence, like for instance, seagrasses. These may look like grasses in the waters that do not seem to have any purpose of occupying the space they have, but that is just not true. Seagrass is a home for various organisms in the ocean. It does not only provide a home, but also food and nursery areas. These are some important plus services that it provides to the species residing there. Seagrasses are important to both humans and organisms that reside in it. They provide shelter, food, nursery areas for different kinds of organisms. They also help strengthen the sea bottom and help clean the waters. Why should we not preserve this ecosystem and take it for granted when it is useful not just to mankind but mostly to creatures that need it more to survive? Let's help and preserve our ecosystem all around the world, especially here in the RMI, to exist for a longer time here on this planet.